you can go. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, to be part of the, uh, uh, the resource uh, person that will teach people how uh, the role of uh, youth empowerment is all about. And uh, today I would like to talk on a topic which is uh, the role of uh, youth towards positive change. And uh, briefly, I will also talk about the International uh, Internship University, a uh, little about the uh, platform. Uh, International uh, uh, Internship University uh, is a platform that educates and inspires uh, young people across the world. And uh, they have, uh, you know, the base in India where they used to, uh, you know, the young people used to learn a lot uh, about how uh, education is all about and also the power of education through their platform. And also uh, today, I would like to be the resource uh, person to educate people on the Department of uh, International uh, Internship uh, University. And I'm so much grateful for the opportunity uh, to be part of the uh, resource manager. And my name is uh, Ambassador Hussein Hamza. I'm from Nigeria and I'm ambassador to Federation of in International Gender and Human Rights. And you know, it's my pleasure to be here to educate uh, the people about the role of uh, youth in our various uh, society and also community. And as we all know, uh, youth also uh, youth play uh, a critical role towards a positive change in our various environment. And we all know that uh, youth are uh, maybe youth constitute 40 uh, percent of world population towards the direction of a uh, social, economic, political, and also growth and development of any country. Uh, because you know, without this youth, uh, you know, we can't uh, drive any uh, change, and also we must en uh, engage uh, them in decision that is affecting their well-being and their various uh, society for them to have this uh, uh, positive change in our society. And also, I believe that youth can also have a greater impact because of their uh, age, uh, physical and emotional, and also the psychological development towards a positive change. Because you know, the youth are so much strong for them to carry uh, a change in our society and also to, for them to use their energy to do whatever is necessary in, in their various uh, community for them to bring change uh, towards their society. I believe when we invest uh, in youth, uh, you know, in their in development, so paramount for the development of any nation uh, building, because, you know, youth uh, contributes a lot, like the 40%, like I said, towards the development of any nation in across the world and also within our various community. And also it is important that we should also understand the power of youth because they make the difference towards positive change and also the power of youth must be possibly utilized in all areas of our society. Because you know, without the, you know, change is constant and we all need change in our uh, various uh, society. That's why we need uh, to involve our youth towards our positive change in our society. Like uh, for instance, I'll also use myself as a case study because you know, um, the range and I'm part of the youth and also have you know imparted more uh, more people in my various community through my skills and also my experience and also I also uh, carry people along where you know to mentor them and also I used to mentorship them about how positive change is all about so that they can have this mindset of doing what is necessary in their various uh, community and if we can allow you to participate in growing economic and also is an essential key to the national uh, development because you are likely the backbone of the society or country because they have the uh, propensity to change the dynamic of new uh, paradigm shift in the society. Because if you were begin, uh, given the opportunity uh, towards the decision making and also towards uh, the policy making in their various uh, community, I believe uh, they will bring more changes to, to their community in terms of their experience and also with their skills. And, you know, uh, like I said, you know, furthermore, if we, uh, we all expect that youth are uh, also advanced in any current situation of society towards bringing solution through, uh, through technology, uh, education, and also politics, and also peace in the society. Because you know, if we want to make peace in our society, we must use youth because youth uh, have much percentage in every uh, people aspect in every society or in a country. Because if we can involve youth, I believe uh, spheres, there will be peace within the people because you know we used up the uh the talent they have the innovation and they have the solution to bring this peace among themselves if there is peace among the people i believe they'll be able to you know come together and also uh campaign about uh peace and also educate themselves about about peace in the uh, their social society and also these are the uh the youth also have this role to renew and refresh the current status of our society including uh leadership skills and also innovations and you know youth can also uh 
bring social information towards improving the condition of society through positive change and also build a strong society with their skills with the view of eradicating poverty development of the economic and also condition of political stability of the society to which it belongs because if uh, you know we are uh, but the youth of every community are partaking in their uh, policy making and also in their decision making. I believe they will bring a what we call the society because they are part of the society and they belong to that society. They know what exactly is their, is their problem and also they know how they can bring out so solution towards the problem they are facing in their uh, community. And also, uh, if they can make a all difference in every sector, which possibly benefit the society. And you need to be included in politics. So uh, program drafting, decision making, and also policy making process that will benefit their future in the society. And as we all know, youth will, all, youth will not only directly experience the outcome of uh, sustainable development goals of the United Nations plans, but they will also be the key driver for the success of this implementation of the uh, United Nations sustainable development goals. And also as a youth, my duty is also, uh, is, as always, is to bring happiness to the people, especially the vulnerable people around me. And part of, a, uh, part of my priority is to continue imparting and also influencing and inspiring young people towards positive change in society and in their uh, various uh, countries. And I believe that when we uh, create something of value, the world can reach uh, towards enable other people to live better lives in their various uh, communities. And also as an individual and also as a youth, our, our group is good to create a, a something of valuable for every humanity in our various uh, community. I believe when we uh, allow the youth to partake in their various uh, communities and also to partake in their decision making, I believe they will bring a lot of change in our society and also in our country. Because, you know, because of the energy they have and also because of the skills and also because of the innovation they have in their head, they will be able to bring a solution towards what is affecting them. And also the government should also even provide uh, a, a better way for them to so that their well-being is also very, very important for them to have the, uh, the mindset of thinking uh, properly and also to, for them to have something that will, be, that will bring down to the table towards their development. And I believe when the youth are also involved, you know, like I said, I said, the youth, are, you know, they have the, maybe they, they only have the 40 percent involvement in their uh, policy making and also in their decision making according to research and if you can increase the percentage of the youth involvement i believe if the percentage can be uh, up to 60 percent or 70 percent i believe a lot of change will happen in our community and a lot of change will happen in our society because they have the energy and also they have the skills for them to bring towards the development of their society and also towards the development of their country because you know, with this youth, you know, like I said, before I was born, they were being saying the youth as the leader of tomorrow. And up to now, the youth have not been given the opportunity to lead their various country and also to lead their, to, uh, to lead their uh, various society. I believe if they can uh, give them the opportunity for them uh, to lead and also to involve in what is affecting them, I believe they will bring a lot of uh, uh, changes in their various community and also they will bring a lot of changes in their society, including their country, because they know their problem and they know where to start from and also they know where uh, they are going to bring this uh, solution to their uh, skills and also to their, their, uh, their experience. And also, they, you know, when they come together as a youth, since uh, the, government are, uh, the government are giving them the opportunity, like maybe up to 60%, I believe they will be able to bring uh, a positive change in their society because, you know, they will also use their energy. To, uh, to bring change to society in terms of the uh, through technology and also through education and also through uh, innovative so that they will be able you know, to partake in all aspects of their various community towards a positive change in their society. Thank you very much uh, for giving the opportunity to, uh, use my, uh, to use my knowledge and skills to educate uh, uh, the young people across the world about uh, the roles of youth uh, towards positive change in their society. Thank you very much. And if there is any question, uh, the floor is all to ask your question so that I will be able to answer the question. Thank you very much. And, you know, like I said, uh, you know, we uh, as a youth, you know, let me even use myself as a custody because, you know, um, um, let me call myself as a youth because I'm the, uh, I'm the uh, duration between the, the youth. And also I've been working for different organizations, you know, through many platforms and I've been contributing and also imparting people based on what I'm doing uh, 
through uh, volunteerism and also through uh, working with uh, different organizations within my country and also uh, uh, within outside my country. Because I'm using this uh, knowledge to inspire the people, to especially the uh, the young ones towards a uh, positive change in their various community, so that they can know what a uh, positive change is all about, and also they can know what uh, the real change is all about. Because without the youth partaking in all these aspects of their uh, community or aspect of their society, uh, you know, it will be very difficult for us to have a change in our community. But I believe when the youth are involved, when they were given, uh, when youth are maybe if you are given the opportunity, they will be able to bring uh, this uh, change in their various uh, community or various society because of their, you know, uh, because of their mindset and also because of their innovative skills they have and also because of the, the knowledge they have and because of their age. You know, we can't compare the age of the youth and also the age of the whole. You know, the youth have the capacity and also they have the courage to transform their society through their skills and also through their uh, innovation. And, and I believe if they were being given the opportunity to partake in their decision making and also in their policy making, they will be able to uh, bring change to their uh, society and also they will be able to bring change to their community through what they have learned uh, from their various uh, experience. And also, you know, if we are talking about the transformation and youth can play a lot of uh, role in towards the transformation of improving the condition of society through positive ways. And of, for instance, you know, they can build a different aspect in terms of the technology, uh, education, and also uh, to eradicate poverty and also to develop the economic uh, aspect of their uh, country. And also the political uh, stability of, of the society, which belongs to them, you know, they, which they were being given that opportunity for them to partake in it, they will be able to, you know, to transform uh, their society through all these factors I mentioned. And I'm um, urging the whole the government of, the, of, of every country to allow the youth to partake in their decision making and also in their policy making so that they can have enough uh, youth in their decision making so that a lot of changes can happen in our society and also uh, the transformation and also the development can come in our society. I believe if they were being given this opportunity, they will be able they will be able to transform uh, their community towards the development and also for the betterment of humanity within their country and also across the world. Thank you very much. And also, uh, I, I, I will move further uh, towards uh, the role of the youth uh, in these are uh, the roles of the youth towards positive change. Because, you know, if uh, the United Nations Sustainable Development uh, Goals that we are talking about is something that has been implemented, and the United Nations has been uh, shouting to the people that how are we going to achieve these uh, sustainable development, uh, development goals. And I believe if youth were being given a lot of opportunity uh, towards this, uh, uh, the idea of these SDGs and also towards the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and I believe they can achieve, uh, the United Nations can achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals that they plan to achieve towards the 2020 target agenda, which is uh, in the next uh, uh, few years, like eight years to come. And I believe if youth were being given the opportunity, I believe this United Nations Sustainable Development Goals will be achieved before the 2030, because you know youth have the uh, energy, they have the capacity, and also they are innovative. They have the, uh, the, the, the sharp brain to acquire what is affecting and also to bring a solution towards what is affecting them. And also, uh, as, uh, as an ambassador, and since I'm, I'm part of the youth, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've been playing my role towards uh, this role of the youth so that I can carry uh, a lot of youth along so that we can transform our society and also we can uh, transform our, uh, our country through what we have been doing, through uh, what we have been uh, doing towards uh, uh, educating, uh, uh, educating people, inspiring people, and also lending people about what is affecting them. And I believe if every country can allow their youth to partake in their decision making, I believe a lot of changes we uh, come uh, we come towards every country uh, across the world because the youth have this uh, innovative idea, they have this solution they have in their head, but they were not being given the opportunity for them to speak what is affecting them or for them to uh, talk about the solution uh, towards the, their problem or towards what is affecting them. And I believe if they can give them the, uh, the opportunity for them to play their role. I believe these are changes that we are talking about. The changes will come to every society and also the changes will come to every uh, country. That's why I'm urging all the government of the world 
to give the youth the opportunity for them to express themselves, for them to partake in their decision making and all in their policy making, so that they can bring uh, changes uh, towards their community and also towards their uh, country, so that they can uh, be innovative, they, they can, so that they can use their idea to transform what is affecting them and also to uh, to develop what is uh, 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 what is affecting them in their various community. I believe if they can be given the opportunity to have like 70 percent in their decision making or in their policy making, I believe they, they will also bring a, a lot of changes towards uh, uh, their community and also towards their society and towards what is affecting them. That's why we need to educate more youth. We need to enlighten more youth about what uh, these are uh, positive in positive change is all about. Because if we can check the, the duration of the crime that is happening uh, in our society or that is happening in our country, we would see that a lot of youth uh, are, are committing uh, crime. But if we can enlighten them or if we can educate them, I believe we know a lot of them will know the, the, the importance of what positive change is all about. And also they will also know their role towards uh, their community and also towards to transform their community and also towards to bring development uh, to their community in terms of what they have been learning or in terms of what they have been teaching them for so long. And if we can give them more opportunity to partake in decision making, and I believe you know a lot of changes will come and this United Nations Sodom Development Group goals will be achieved before that 20 uh, that's it. Uh, and the, all the people all across, especially the youth, to uh, join their hands together, you know, let's uh, join our hands together so that we can support each other through collaborative and through uh, each everybody's support, we can bring change to our various community. We should add that to voluntarily, uh, you know, we can volunteer, it's part of it, because we can use, our, uh, we can transform our society through voluntary, because let's use our act, our active hand to transform our society through a voluntary, not until we have been paid always, but we can volunteer ourselves, since we have the idea, since we have the solution, let's, uh, uh, Let's uh, sacrifice ourselves to volunteer to uh, bring changes in our so society and also to bring uh, development to society with, uh, through what solution uh, we know that we can solve. If we can, you know, use this method or if we can use this method to transform our society, I believe a lot of society will develop and a lot of uh, people will benefit from our positive aspect of our action and also to our positive mindset. And if we can come together through collaboration, uh, collaboration and also through partnership, we can partner together so that we can bring uh, what is, uh, if something is affecting us and we have somebody that is not part of us and the person is a youth and they have idea, we can partner with, uh, with each other and also bring a solution uh, towards what is affecting everybody because we are all humanity. And to me, nothing is more than humanity as far as uh, this life is concerned. Nothing is more than humanity. But if we can come together, through our collaborative effort, through our support, we can, you know, we can help each other. We can transform our world that we live in. And you know, we uh, through these are uh, continuous uh, and and you know, and all, also I will hold all the youth to uh, continue looking for more knowledge because through our continuous knowledge we can be uh, solving our problems. Through continuous knowledge we can be bringing out a solution that will be, you know, that will be solving our problems. Through our continuous knowledge, uh, through continuous learning, we can be bring a uh, solution towards our problems and towards what is affecting us in our society. Thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity. If there is any question, uh, the room is floor, I will be able to answer the question. Thank you very much. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Uh, I'm looking, is there any question for you? Oh, I don't see nothing, no questions. Only Professor Charles asked uh, why the youth are not participating in this uh, event today. So, You are you are finished or? Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 waiting for if there is any question before I run off.
Here we have one question for you. Professor Charles, the head of Nigeria and Africa head of IAU is asking you, why are the youth not participating in the event? Okay, it's okay. Uh, listen, please, uh, like a like a uh, like a present of the youth. Uh, can you tell us, our participants on the Facebook, what is your mission? What is what are you doing for the youth of uh, your country, Nigeria, and for Africa, and for the youth all around the globe? What okay, is your uh, mission? Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, for such wonderful question. And uh, as as my own role, you know, I've been uh, helping a lot of youth within my country and also across the uh, across my country because you know I'm uh, I've been using my skills and my experience to educate the youth and also to inspire the youth to what I've been doing because now if you go through my social media handles. You will see what I've been doing since from uh, more than years ago. I, uh, you know, I've, you know, I've received several uh, recognitions and also several awards based on what um, you know, I've been doing. And also, I used to carry youth along in my community and also uh, in my country. Whenever I see youth, they they have they have nothing doing. I'll go and meet them and also we I'll, I'll sit them together. We start talking. I'll start uh, asking everybody problems. And uh, from there, I will start uh, giving them the opportunity for them to be to uh, to know what uh, they desire to achieve in life. And also, I will try to enlighten them about what positive change is, is positive change is all about. And also, I will try to educate them about their useful uh, to themselves and also to uh, their country and also to their society. And also, my part of my mission is to carry every youth along within my country and also outside my country so that we can see ourselves in a place where uh, a lot of people will benefit apart from us, even our younger ones will benefit from what, from our positive actions. Because, you know, we supposed to serve as an you know example to our younger ones. And as a youth, if I can use my skills and also my knowledge to carry everybody along towards enlightenment uh, towards enlightening them and also towards educating them and also carry everybody along through my you know through what i've been doing and also i normally you know give them the opportunity sometimes i will share opportunity with them so that they can learn from the opportunity i have they can learn from there and also they can uh, participate in uh, programs because now you know we have been uh, ever, over two years now i've been organizing what we call these uh, modern united nations summits where i used to you know call all the youth uh, together so that we can uh, organize a summit would uh, they call the name of the summit is modern united nations summit where they can learn how they can uh, deliberate towards what is affecting them and also how they can even uh, uh, bring a solution towards their problem to do this summit and also sometimes i used to organize conference in the, my uh, my country and even some, sometimes i normally organize a physical conference and also virtual conference so that everybody, every youth across the world can partake in this uh, conference towards uh, decision making and towards what is affecting them so that they can know how they can even tackle a, uh, a problem that is affecting them. And also they can even how they can even voice out to their government towards what is affecting them without any uh, using the word of uh, insult or the word of even uh, abusive word in the diplomacy way so that they can even account, uh, ask their government uh, what is affecting them to uh, diplomacy way, and I've been using this thing. I'm, uh, I've been using my uh, skills towards, you know, to call out the youth together so that uh, they can, you know, learn a lot of things towards uh, decision making and also to, uh, towards uh, uh, policy making through my programs that I've been organizing. Thank you. Thank you very much for your answer. And we are really proud on your work and that you are doing for the youth in your country, Nigeria, and all around the globe. 
Uh, I'm looking in the chat. Uh, I still don't. Uh, I still don't see no questions, but only uh, our participants are saying great, uh, bravo. Professor Charles said great, uh, carrying them along. If they are not uh, okay, we are. And yes, the youth is the future. Uh, is the is our future, and the youth is I use future and IAU has a great uh, IAU council for the youth, not only for the youth, for the students, for the entrepreneurs, for, for, uh, for the educators. So thank you. Thank you there, Hussein Hanza, for being uh, our today uh, trainer, trainer for the youth. Uh, uh, I hope the youth of all around the globe will hear your speech today. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have a conclusion to give uh, anything else, uh, we will be really happy to hear uh, some more things from you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for, for giving, the, uh, giving me the opportunity uh, to be the uh, resource person to educate and also to train uh, youth across the world through uh, international internship uh, university. And I believe, you know, uh, as me uh, standing in front of people is by the privilege and also is by the opportunity. And, and also I, I would like to say, uh, uh, I believe that when we create something of, of, of value, the world can enrich towards enable other people to live better lives in their various uh, community. And it is good to create something of value for humanity. Because, you know, as for me, nothing is more than humanity. And if we can come together through collaboration and also through our support, a lot of people can benefit from our positive aspect. And also, I will also thank uh, the International Internship uh, University for the wonderful work they have been doing towards uh, to educate the youth across the world and also towards uh, to uh, inspire the youth to uh, their work they have been doing and also calling uh, the expert and also the uh, resource uh, person from across the world to educate uh, the youth and also to train youth uh, across the country through their platform. Thank you very much. And I know I also I will continue recommending your platform uh, towards uh, my people in my country and also towards the youth so that they can learn more from uh, your platform. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you.